is up guys this is Swift and welcome back to Skyrim episode 70 yeah I'm sure most of you thought I just gave up on the game that is not the case I have been very busy recently I actually have a full-time job now and I've been uh, actually having a personal life as well so I decided to take a little bit of a break from YouTube because I've spent a long time on YouTube I've spent the last year pretty much locked away inside my apartment playing and recording games and so I never quit I just took a break but I'm going to try to come back with you guys for some more Skyrim in anticipation of the release of the new Dawnguard DLC, which I don't know when it's going to hit the PC, but apparently it's either hit the Xbox already or it's going to hit the Xbox. So if any of you remember correctly, the last time we played some Skyrim, I was on the way to meet Carlia and learn about the Nightingales. So we are here looking at Carlia now. We're going to step forward and see what she has to say. So... Sorry for the delay, guys. I will try to get a little bit more videos out for you. And uh, let's get back into it. Hello. I'm glad you're here. It's been a while. This is the headquarters of the Nightingales, cut into the mountainside by the first of our kind. I see. We've come to seek the edge we need to defeat Mercer Frey. Can you let me pick those flowers, please? If kind of an edge. Me, I'll try to explain on the way. Okay, Carlia. Could you be a little bit more cheerful here? This way, please. Okay. Okay. What's up, dude? Well, you want to talk? You're just going to stand there and stare at me like a freak. Missed you, too. Carlia. Hurry. Nightingale Hall. So this is Nightingale Hall. I heard it about is. this place when I joined the guild, but I never believed it existed. Well, it's the here. The assumption that the Nightingales were just a myth was seeded within the guild on purpose. It helped divert attention from our true nature. What's wrong, Brynjolf? I can almost hear your brow furrowing. I'm trying to understand why I'm here, lass. I'm no priest, and I'm certainly not religious. Why pick me? This isn't right about now. religion, Brynjolf. It's business. You're the only honest dude in the Thieves Guild. This is Nightingale Hall. You're the Looks first like to be uninitiated to set foot inside in over a century. Damn. If you'll both proceed to the armory to don your Nightingale armor, we can begin the oath. Did, 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 did you say Nightingale armor? I'm a lot more excited like now. <laughs> Apples. I think we should trust the lass and take the deal. I already do trust her. She kind of saved my ass a few times there, bro. Oh, beds. Uh-oh. What's going to happen, Carlia? Are you going to make Lydia smart? Is that what you're going to do? Please say so. You appear hesitant to don your nightingale armor. What's troubling you? I'm um, Lydia. And Mercer's still out there. Let's get this show on the road. Can you stand still for you a second? What the fuck? To don your nightingale armor. What's troubling you? Morphed. Oh, yes. Uh, well, I'm not wearing it. Um, okay. Guess I will do that now. Apparel. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Sweet! You I look like a Lord of the Ring. Damn, Carla, it looked much different now. You appear ready for the oath. You appear ready to repeat yourself. Some mercy. Okay, lass, we've got these get ups on. Now what? I just called you Mercer, and I apologize. The first step in becoming a nightingale. Whoa there, lass. I appreciate the armor, but becoming a nightingale? That was never discussed. If you shut up and take the deal. any hope of defeating Mercer, we must have Nocturnal at our backs. If she's to accept you as one of her own, an arrangement must be struck. What sort of arrangement? I need to know the terms. The terms are quite simple, Brynjolf. Nocturnal will allow you to become a nightingale and use your abilities for whatever you wish. And in return, 
both in life and in death, you must serve as a guardian of the Twilight Sepulchre. Sounds good, let's right. do this. There's always a catch. But at this point, I suppose there isn't much to lose. Then why'd you open your if mouth, bro? it means bro? the end of Mercer Frey, you can count me in. What about Duh. Me? Are you ready to transact the oath with Nocturnal? Um, let me think about it, yes? Good. After I open the gate, please stand on the western circle. Can you point to it? it Possibly. To I don't know east from west. We'll speak when the oath is complete. Okay, okay. Pull the chain. Okay, well, I'll let you pull the chain, damn it. We'll speak when the oath is complete. You are starting to annoy me, Carlia. I thought you had more sense than that. Pull the fucking chain, let's do this. Time's wasting, and Mercer's still out there. Let's get this show on. Okay, here we go. Lydia, go home. Okay, I won't be mean to you. Just, just stay there. You're the only person I didn't miss. Are you gonna stand in the way the whole time here, Lydia? Here, how about this? How I've about got your this? Back. All right. What is it? What do you well, need? I need you to move over there. Okay, got it. Peace. See ya. Okay. Now we can do this. I call upon you, Lady Nocturnal. Queen of Merc, an Empress of Shadow, hear my voice. Ah, Carlia, I was wondering when I'd hear from you again. Lose something, did we? My lady, I've come before you to throw myself upon your mercy and to accept responsibility for my failure. You're already mine, Carlia. Your terms were struck long ago. What could you possibly offer me now? I have two others that wish to transact the oath. To serve you both in life and in death. Three you surprise me, Caroline. This offer is definitely weighted in my favor. My appetite for Mercer's demise exceeds my craving for wealth, Your Grace. Revenge. How interesting. That's what I'm screaming. Very well. The conditions are acceptable. You may proceed. That was easy. Lady Nocturnal, we accept your terms. There are no we terms. We dedicate ourselves to you as both your Avengers and your Sentinels. We will honor our agreement in this life and the next until your conditions have been met. Very well. I name your initiates Nightingale, and I restore your status to the same, Carlisle. Okay. And in the future, I'd suggest you refrain from disappointing me again. Or it's off with the head, bitch. Okay, now what? Okay, speak to Carlia. Hello, Carlia. Now that you've transacted the oath, it's time to reveal the final piece of the puzzle to you. Mercer's true crime. And give me a sweet weapon, right? Mercer was able to unlock the guild's vault without two keys because of what he stole from the Twilight Sepulchre. The skeleton key. Uh oh. By doing this, he's compromised our ties to Nocturnal, and in essence, caused our luck to run dry. Well, let's kick his ass and shove the skeleton key right up it. Well, yes, but the key isn't only restricted to physical barriers. Really? All of us possess untapped abilities, the potential to wield great power securely sealed within our minds. Mm -hmm. Once you realize the key can access these traits, potential becomes limitless. Sounds like something I want to get my hands on. Although it would benefit the guild more than you can imagine, in the end it would do more harm than good. If the key isn't returned to its lock in the Twilight Sepulchre, things will never be the same for the guild. Well, let's do it then. As time passed, our luck would diminish to the point of non-existence. And whether you know it or not, our uncanny luck defines our trade. First time I ever set out to return something. <laughs> oh, shit. Very true. In our line of work, it's quite rare we set out to return a stolen item to its rightful owner. Well, if the world is on the line, let's go. Before we depart, Brynjolf has some business to discuss. I suggest you listen to him. Sounds good. What's up, Lenny? Listen, lass. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer. The leadership of the guild. 
Oh, really? <laughs> I thought you were the leader, man. Alaya and I had a long discussion before you arrived here. Thanks to your efforts, Mercer's treachery has been exposed. After we deal with him, all that remains is restoring the guild to its full strength. Okay. As a result, we both feel what that you have the potential of replacing Mercer as leader of the Thieves Guild. Fuck that, Carlyle just teleported. Did you not see that? She's fucking I've been at this game a long time, my friend. A long time. I've stolen trinkets from nobles and framed priests for murder. And you just saw Carlyle teleport. Where I do. Maybe even one of the best. But it's all I know. You didn't just see I've that. I've never been one to lead. Never desired it. Never cared for it. Don't want it. Okay. Fine. You didn't see it. Fuck you then. I don't know what to well, say. Well, we have a bit of an errand to run before your coronation. So don't get sentimental on me now. I was just telling you she teleported. I didn't get sentimental, asshole. Then it's decided. When this is all over and Delvin's contacts assure me that we've regained our footing in Skyrim, we'll handle the details. Sounds like a plan, Until Brian. then, we have quite the task ahead. Okay. Let's get to it then. I'm tired I've of been walking. been over the plans you brought us, and I'm convinced the eyes of the Palma are in the Dwarven ruins at Urkenthan. Carlyle and I will meet you there. Prepare yourself, lass. This will be a fight to remember. Okay, we're going to Gherkinthand. Let's do it. We're going to Gherkinthand. 